Govinda Lila Mritam Nishanta Lila. After Radha rebuked Krishna because he didn't serve his deity Radha after he worshipped her Krishna becomes subservient to Radha and he replies Radhe you're right Anangadev has certainly appeared on the altar of your bodily limbs. Therefore, I, sh I shall use the fire articles of Vasana dress, Bushana ornaments, Ganda scent, Pushpa flower in chandan sandalwood paste to fully satisfy my Ishta Devata. Hearing Krishna's words Banumati Manjari comes forward and offers a comb the Nagar Shekhar gathers Shimati's hair and begins to comb it with the utmost concentration to spare his beloved to slightest, to slightest discomfort. After tying Priyaji's hair into a veni, Krishna further decorates it with malati flowers. Next, he carefully anoints the borders of Shiradika's beautiful eyes with an anjan mixture, black, black mascara, prepared by Manjari Ragaleka. Krishna take a pearl necklace offered by Ruchi Manjari and affectionately places it around Rai Rangini's neck. By now, Shiradika Devi's self-esteem is aroused and in a prideful voice she addresses Shamasundar. Hey, you are bluffing, dressing expert. Before repainting the attractive Chandan designs that you smeared on my breasts, why have you covered them with a pearl necklace? If the necklace is first given, later it won't be possible to paint the Chandan designs. Therefore, you are boasting among the suckies of being my expert dresser. It's but a pretension. Hearing Radhika's assertion, Krishna's pride increased and he continues to boast as follows O oh, Radhi, your most celebrated artist is Vishaka but just watch I'll paint such marvelous designs on your breast on your breasts that even she will be stunned. 
thus begging Krishna gestures to Shirup, Shirati and Sri Lila Manjari to give the necessary painting ingredients and complying the Sevadasis eagerly stand ready to view Radha Krishna's Roholila. Secret pastimes, confidential pastimes. But as Krishna takes up the brush, all at once he is pelted by Kamadeva's Panchaban, five flower arrows. Because Shamnagar's hand incessantly shakes, the lines become crooked. Hence, again and again, Krishna rubs his own chest over Radha's to erase his quirky brush strokes. Meanwhile, the manjaris consider under the guise of smearing of the crooked lines on Radha's Kucha Yugal, Vidagda Raj Shamasundar is setting ablaze the fortress of Radha's patience. Moreover, he himself is mouldering in Kandarpa Raja's Kama Agni. But thereafter, Kamadev heeds that Krishna's decorations are unbefitting. Thus, by his direction, the Shringar becomes rearranged for both partners. In other words, after removing Shri Shri Yugalakishora's patience, Gandharpa Kelly begins. And during the mutual tussle, Radha's dress is transferred to Krishna's body and vice versa. Thus, in Cupid's estimation, now the Yuga Shringar displays incomparable wonder. The Manjaris, viewing this lila through the Kelly Mandir's windows, now declare, Oh, if this moment's fortune for the eyes could only last forever. But seeing a new day arriving, they lament. Hey, hey, the Creator is cold hearted. For now, Radha Govinda's Prem Kelly is coming to a close. Rasik Bhakta Chulamani Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Pad next advises Sadaka Bhaktas should contemplate these topics to cultivate similar moods because just as to the Manjaris this modern meditation is to be worn around the neck like a precious locket. One noteworthy speciality of Krishna Bana Bhavanamrita is that Radha Govinda's Roholila, the most confidential pastimes, appears in each of the eight periods of the day. 
This excerpt has included the first. Thereafter, Shiradika Devi sees the Sakis approaching with their beautiful faces enhanced with wide smiles and restless roaming eyes. Then she removes herself from Krishna's lap to increase his ananda twofold explanation. Overtaken by surprise and intoxicated in Sham Nagara's Rasamaya Sangha, Prema Mairada cannot understand why our Saki is brightly smiling. But then as she looks upon each approaching Saki with wonder she fathoms the reason. Thus she removes herself from Krishna's lap. Feeling embarrassed, Radha quickly takes up Krishna's yellow chadar to cover herself. Then while sitting on Krishna's left side, she reg regains her gravity and pensively glances toward the Sakis. The Sakis delightedly observe. Our unclad Rasik Yuga are covered with nail marks. Their lips are bruised and they are drowsy due to fatigue of Prem Kelly. Moreover, their hair is scattered as their necklaces and pushpa malas lie strewn. All this makes the Sakis blush. Gora Premanandeha.